in Nigeria plus dumb plus smart plus stupid plus foolish everybody is in the same classroom what's up my beautiful people welcome back to my channel you must be tired of seeing this face i don't know are you tired bye okay, yeah. you gotta go <laughs> so guys today the difference well i want to it's not culture shock it's um different between the schools so different between schools in nigeria and in the uk so the first day we started school we're taking downstairs for all that the registration and all that or oh, if you are going to travel what country will you choose my young stupid self said nigeria because that's the only country i knew actually when i was in nigeria like if i didn't come to the uk all i knew was nigeria uk us ghana that was it like i thought that was the well done that's literally what the world was but coming here i saw and met different people and i was like wow there's actually a lot to this world like, like damn we are so lost in nigeria like we lack information in that country so badly like even in schools you're not taught that in school you're taught about nigeria your 36 states and the three different languages your tribes and all of that nonsense and you're taught french which you never use in life by the way because if you ask me in french i don't know but they flog they flog my head tire in nigeria just to learn french i still don't know it's do you can't even remember why i got in french anyways back to the main topic <laughs> and then all of that so we did all of that registration thing and then I think we had to go back because it was like half the day and then we had to go back and come back the next day. Next day we're going to school. My mother was like, you're going to school by yourself. Eh? In another man's land. <laughs> we was like, eh? You're seriously not going to take us? She said, no. Like yesterday I told you to open your eyes. Get large, slay. Get woe. If you don't look, if you win us school next day. Ah! Okay, so we went to school by ourselves. Me and my dearest old brother, we used to, in Nigeria, you arrive to school, the first thing we do is assembly. Isn't it? We were not told though. So we got to school, shout out St. Mary's, and then we were standing outside waiting for the bell to go for assembly. By the way, we were like the earliest. Like, we were the earliest. I, I can almost say we got to school before the cleaners did. <laughs> we got to school on time. Like my mother is on on time lady. We got to school on. <laughs> More than on time, we were early. We was waiting outside. In the cold, by the way. This was winter time, yes. My mother put us in a massive puffer jacket. No, school time, big bag. Cannot forget. She bought everything. Everything they gave her on that list to buy for school, she bought everything, including the bag. <laughs> including the bag. Got to school. Big bag. We're ready. Yay! School in London. <laughs> we stood outside waiting for assembly. Time went. And then I can't remember who came to us. I think it was the assistant head teacher. Make sure you subscribe. Now. She came to us. And she came and she's like, um, what are you doing outside? It was like, we're waiting for assembly. She goes, there isn't any fire drill. And my brother, me and my brother were like, what is a fire drill? <laughs> what was that? Huh? Fire what? <laughs> fire drill for me? What is that? Like, first of all, what is a fire drill? And <laughs> she was like, okay, what year are you in? And then we told her, she goes, okay, you have to go to your first lesson. And we looked at each other like, no assembly, no morning prayer, no school anthem, no none of that. I was like, ah. No, national anthem. It's not school anthem. No, no. you had school anthem and you had national anthem. Well, us, <laughs> we sang the national anthem. Bro, Every we, we had the school we anthem, did. we had the national anthem. People, and, listen, how can someone sing the country's national anthem every exactly morning way, every single every morning, single oh, morning we sang the smart. national anthem smart 
And then we were dismissed to go to our class. Oh yeah, find our class. We could not find it. Or more, we walked around the whole school. And my question to you, <laughs> those of you that were born in the UK, what is your UK national anthem? So you don't swear. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Do you know what? I, I feel like it's a good idea to like once in a while incorporate it. Like let those kids know it because they actually mm. don't, they don't know it. Like they don't even know like. God save the queen. Don't even try because something, please. something, <laughs> and it goes on like that. Anyway, Sha, we waited in the court for assembly. Assembly did not happen. <laughs> no bell rang. We were dismissed to go to our class. We had to look at our timetable. Okay, go to yeah. Uh, mine was year nine. Yeah, nine. I can't remember what my my first lesson was. I can't remember what my first lesson was like then. It but was called confusion. Literally year nine, and I was just lost. And then the fact that they didn't even explain how would know each other like you're in this le you're in this year you're in this year you're in this year. We didn't know. We were on. We had different ties. We knew that for sure. So we thought, okay, common sense. That one was like common sense. Okay. It, it is the tie that will tell everyone's ear. But which one is blocked for year 9? Which one is blocked for year 10? Because in Nigeria, every year has their block. GSS is one upstairs, GSS two downstairs. Like in Nigeria, we were kept in the class. So all GSS one, you're in the classroom. That's and you seven. have, oh yeah, and that's year 7, right? And you have all your lessons in that room. Here in the UK, you had to go to each room for your lessons. That was confusing for us. We got lost. I, I can almost say the first week. Almost, I think obviously the teacher knew like, freshie one, two, you are new. So I was new and I was a freshie. Like I was fresh out of the ball. Okay. So that week I was late to all my lessons, all my classes. I was late because I was used to. I don't remember even after first lesson, I still sat down when everyone was leaving. And then the teacher was like, <laughs> Elizabeth, <laughs> is everything okay? <laughs> and also, so if you want to see the famous slippers, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> and then the teacher's like, Elizabeth, are you okay? I was like, yes. And she goes, um, it's time for your next lesson. It's like, yes, that's what I'm waiting for. And she goes, no, you have to leave. <laughs> To leave, you have to go to your left class. I say, go to your class. I was like, ah, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> and then she calls me to see my timetable, and then she's like, okay, she actually got someone to take me there. But yeah, that was so that the first thing it was assembly, they don't have assembly here in the UK. Two, uh, you everyone use make sure you subscribe. This is the same classroom. So it's not like in Nigeria in GS1 or in let's say year sevens, everyone in year seven stays in a room. No, here you had to go to your teachers. So the teachers didn't come put that's the easy words for us. The teachers didn't come to you. You had to go to the teachers in the UK. In Nigeria, the teachers came to us in the classroom. That was two. Three everyone's tie was different so we had the same uniform but our ties were different in nigeria everyone's uniform is the same only the junior set and the senior set that are different so all gs1 to gs3 same uniform and ss1 to ss3 same uniform and regarding the junior set um they would wear shorts senior set would wear trousers oh, that's not all the some. schools though yeah okay. that was some, some school some, some school them. had like the short differences but that was not all, so I wouldn't really classify that. But all I say is that just one to three, everyone had the same uniform. S is one to three, everyone had the same uniform. Here in the UK, year seven, year eight, year nine, year ten, year eleven, all different ties. It was there was a tie. Hey, I could not, I did not know how to tie tie. By the way, I did not to not tie in my life. I had not want to tie. The first time was in the UK. I actually wore a tie. My first time was in the UK. I wore a tie first time in the UK and I think someone tied it for me and I left it like that for like the next <laughs> I left it like that for the next three months before I learned how to do it myself so I was actually a good girl with the longest <laughs> I was the good girl with the 
longest time because we had to there was a number of stripes you had to make sure it was showing so i think it was we had to make sure it was six stripes showing that's the best way to wear your uniform so that was that and here everything was computer based in nigeria it was paper based so we, wrote, right. <laughs> we wrote everything right. with our pen paper everything but here we had to do homeworks online we had to we had to learn how to use a computer we never used a computer in our life in nigeria they taught us how to use a computer one computer to 100 students tell me how we're meant to learn yeah it was one computer to 100 students but here everything was online everything and the grading <laughs> How they grade us? Oh, Lulu. Um, so it's actually mad because think of <laughs> someone being smart in Nigeria and then coming to the UK and then becoming dumb. Yeah, do you know what? The grading was, oh my god, it was so different. Like, it is so different, not once, it still is different. Like, my parents, if we got the, like, obviously I did, I, I, I didn't get mad max, but they didn't understand how it worked so like after a term we'll give them our results and she, she was just like did you do good yes or no <laughs> that's my mom for you my mom just said did you do good did you just say you did good okay that's it okay fine like but in nigeria it was position it was first position second position and it was numbers but yeah i think it was yeah we used 1a 5b 5c and my parents were, even myself myself i'm not even gonna lie i was lost I was totally lost at the gradings, but all I know is the teacher said I did good. Like they kept saying I was good and my marks are good. So I was like, okay. It just went on with it. But later on, I understood the gradings and stuff. So the gradings are different. Like the way we grade each other were different. And oh yeah, before they could set me and my brother into a classroom or a set, there was different sets. So there was the smartest to the I wouldn't say dumbest, but the slowest. So the smartest is the slowest. So the smarter you are, the higher you are. And if you're not too like much of a catch on like that, you put it in a set. Make sure you subscribe. In Nigeria, plus dumb, plus smart, plus stupid, plus foolish. Everybody's in the same classroom. Uh, wherever <laughs> you are 50. <laughs> right, exactly. You don't pass your test. Everybody. You will stay in here too. <laughs> Everybody was in the same classroom, like it was just there. So we had to be tested and yeah, they tested us. You no. Know, I was there, my brother was there. We were put in different classroom. And then as well exams. Here in the UK, you pass oh oh pass oh fail oh crum this one oh crum class in Nigeria oh oh pass oh crum class. But in the UK, you don't pass, you move on. You pass you move on. Nigeria, you don't pass, you repeat that class. Even if it takes you 100 times to repeat that class, you repeat it until you, until you get the, the marks you're required to move on to the next level. Here, you get it, you don't get it, boom, you move on. And I feel like here in the UK, sometimes, I'm sorry to say, some of my teachers might watch this, but sometimes the teachers don't care. In the UK, they don't care. Like, they actually don't care. The fact that you're not... <laughs> Not all of them. Yeah, well, most of them didn't care. No, it's not all of Do them. Do you know what? In my school, I feel like... Don't hate me for this, but I feel like the African teachers were the ones who were on our case. Like, they were the ones on our case. Everyone else was just like, do what you want, kind of thing. I mean, if you, they see if you are focused and you're willing to learn, they'll put work on you and they'll put effort on you. But if you're those one of those children or those kids that are just want to be disturbing in the classroom they'll leave you to be that they will not touch you they will not beat you they just parents parents they come they'll report to your parents that's what they can do that's the best they can do and give you detention that's it in nigeria a teacher is teaching you dare talk ah just so you do not <laughs> you don't want to go home you want peace that day <laughs> you will go home with stripes Different strides. Oh, well, you know what to go on with one piece. Eh, eh, teacher is teaching you. You're, you're waiting. You're, you're talking. Oh. Who are you? <laughs> you don't love your life. <laughs> I mean, as soon as the teacher is walking in, literally, you can hear a pin drop 
in a classroom as soon as the teacher walks in the Nigeria. Here in the UK, the teacher is standing in front of the board. I was like, hey. The teacher is standing in front and everyone is still making noise, passing pens around, putting on lip gloss. I was like, wow. Like, wow, like serious thing. So that was that. Make sure you subscribe. Teachers don't hit you. You get disciplined, but teachers don't beat you here. But in Nigeria, teachers will beat you. You get noisemakers, you get class captain, and all of that. Also, so the methods of teaching. For yeah, example, oh yeah. Maths um, in Nigeria is a lot harder, but they show you methods that make yeah, sense. Yeah, okay, and the method of teaching, yeah. That was a key thing that confused myself and my brother. Like, in Nigeria, we're taught a different method. Like, it was a different way they taught us, the harder way. Nigeria is a hard but life. It was not but easy it was, to get your answers. Yeah, for us, it was the easiest way because that's what we were taught. But, if but really here in the UK, here, but... it was so different. But when we, like, I, oh my god, when we are given a work, like, a solution to solve, we would do it, but our workings are not the same. But it's, and, the, same answer. But it's the same answer. And we were told off for that because we, you actually get marked on, on your workings. And that was it like a lot for us to take on we we actually struggled with that but yeah the methods is different it's, they, they teach you different methods and like here as well in the uk they use age you use age to enter class you use age to enter class in nigeria my, my, my brother were in the same class we came here in the uk it was a class ahead of me i was like ah <laughs> yeah seniority day in Nigeria, there is no need today for that for class. So if you are smart, you move. If you are not smart, you feel like you are hundred. You still be in GS1. If no primary six, <laughs> if you don't pull out yourself, you still be in primary six at the age of fifty. But here is age. You use age to class you to put you in your different classes. So we struggled with our maths and you know and the sciences. Well, it was all different from. The way we were taught or everything we knew in nigeria so everything we knew in nigeria we had to like kind of like brush it off and my father was a math teacher he could not even help us because he would be telling me he would be teaching me and i'm like daddy no that's i did it and they said no we can't do it like that so he couldn't help us and we had to do our things ourselves and you don't get them after school lessons <laughs> <laughs> no after school lesson mm -mm. you go to school there you go you get tutors yes if your parent had obviously my parents were not in that position to private tutoring so we tutored ourselves you, you didn't get anything like a uh, group after school lessons we did in nigeria and you know we were expecting that here but it was a different level that was that make sure you subscribe the difference so assembly, classes, teaching, year, age, um, different methods. Um, and I would say food, so in the sense where, um, so you've got certain African parents that would give their child certain foods to take to school, so in the UK. And then when obviously you open it. Oh yeah. <laughs> So the mom will be like, eh, what yeah, is that? I remember. Yeah. <laughs> that, is, yeah, that is true, you know. And I remember some, oh my God, someone said that to my friend and gosh. I was, oh. Say gosh. <laughs> I was going to swing for her because myself and my brother, but my mom always said, make pack lunch. You're not having school lunch. Make pack lunch. So we would always try and make sandwich, either a cheese sandwich or chicken sandwich whatever it is and that one time we made i think it was sardine y'all know how sardine smells like come on that geisha smell <laughs> it's a hit you like the kingdom come <laughs> and we made it and we were sitting in the group and at lunchtime and as soon as i brought out my sandwich this girl this I wish Sandwich, this wish. Honestly, like wish. Um, I can, like the way I'm saying, I can just, I'm still, I have the image in my head. She's just like, 
Oh, fam, that stinks. I was like, you did not just say that to my food. Hi. And everyone was just like, yeah, that's food. I was going to say her name. Like, uh, that's food. You should apologize. From then, I did not talk to her, by the way. I didn't talk to her. Ever, 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 ever. It was just like, I wouldn't even say anything. We, just, we were not even in the same class, so it made it easier for me not to talk to her. But uh, food as well is a different, different level. It's like, <laughs> not that scene entirely. You cannot bring your own thing and it would smell. But yeah. So, anyways, guys, that is the end of today's video. If you can relate to this and you know you've had a different experience and you feel like I've missed it out, you can leave it in the comment down below. And do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Most importantly, hit that notification bell so you can always get a notification every time I, Lizzie Atkins, upload new content. For now, hold on. Head over to Lizzie's Magic Hands and subscribe to my channel. That's my transformation channel. All my makeup, hair, and daily transformation videos. I have shifted them. Yes, I've shifted them there to that channel. So make sure to subscribe if you were enjoying my transformation videos on clients or on everything. Like if you really enjoy that, head over to that channel, subscribe there for my transformation video. And yeah, guys, that is it. If you're enjoying my. <laughs> If you enjoy my story time so far as Bay is enjoying it in the background <laughs> to let you know in the comment down below and if you there's anything you want to know like in the question like oh how you know what's the difference of the, this and this in Nigeria da, 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 da. I mean I say Nigeria because I'm Nigerian but I'm pretty much sure every other country can relate to it you know transiting from one country to another especially like from Africa to the diaspora to the to EU or you know anything so yeah guys I will see you in my next video